<laughs> you introduced me to him at a at a part. I mean, again, this is one of the gifts of getting to go to Eric Idle's home is you said, oh, here's Brian Cox. And we chatted and he's this brilliant mind. And the next thing you know, he's I, he's I, I, I become somewhat, you know, friendly with him. And I think this is you have salons. You have it's nice what you well, do. I you like get really smart. It's not just funny people. It's it it's music people. It's people from science. It's people from astrology. It's people who are historians, and uh, I can just see that you have this endless joy for trying to figure it all out. I like putting people together. I like conversation. But I love love at the end of the evening is a ding dong. We have a play, and so I love musicians. And yeah. so I've always got musicians. Um, anybody I like Brian Cox, if he's going to tell you about quantum, and that's very nice over dinner, you know. Yeah. Uh, but and he also plays a piano. So we we have gigs. His son George plays guitar. Wow. And I've I've been playing with this group who have been playing with the Monkeys, and they're really great. And we just sit around and play hit after hit. It's just great. That's my happy. That's when I'm happy. After dinner, out come the guitars. We'll it's, just sing for hours. It's funny you say this because, like, what is it about? I love uh, playing guitar. Um, I could never make a dime off of it, uh, but it's it's it just uh, it's my hobby, and I really love doing it. And I got to do the um, Newport Folk Festival a month or two ago. And there's there's footage of it, and I'm up there playing with all these amazing people, and Jack White came. But the comment that shows up every time I'm up there is, Conan seems, this is the most joyous I've, I've ever seen Conan. He seems so much happier doing this than comedy. <laughs> I thought, I love comedy, but they're not wrong. No. I love that. Me too. And, I, I, I'm just playing and ha uh, gigging with people and, and having fun and listening. Because it's a different part of your brain. You're not thinking. You're not obsessive. And yeah. where's the next laugh? Well, you know, you're just feeling the next chord. So the, I, I, I love that. And I, I, I'm doing a show now, which is really, a one-man musical yeah and i do a couple of songs so one's a tribute to george harrison that i wrote which i, I really like because i miss him a lot and one's for robin which i wrote for his uh, memorial mm -hmm. and it's a very sweet song and um i put up pictures of them and it, it's it's kind of a nice way of recognizing that people have moved on and yeah. gone and say for what well, it isn't all like you know more just not maudlin. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of there's some good jokes, but uh. well, you've written. First of all, it's the it's the most requested song uh, at funerals. Uh, I think in certainly in the, in the UK, maybe in the world. And what's the second? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good question. Actually, it was my way it replaced. <laughs> Which is really a terrible song for it's, when you're dying in yeah, it. Yeah. I did it uh, oh, my I life. <laughs> I smoked, I smoked and smoked. They said I shouldn't, but I did. I ate fatty foods. They said I shouldn't, but I did. You wrote Always Look On uh, The Bright Side of Life. And um, it has, it's such a great song. I mean, it's an amazing scene in Life of Brian. And at the time, I remember it extremely controversial because, you know, it's, people are being, they're on, they're dying, they're on a crucifix and singing, always look on the bright side of life. And I think <laughs> it's everything, it is the perspective that I completely 100% agree with, uh, which is, this is terrible and ridiculous and silly at the same time. That is sometimes the only way we can go, we can move on. And it's just, and it's got my, one of my, Life's got a funny plot. You're here and then you're not. Like it's that's all there is to it. I think. Yes, I, I, I mean, what's really funny about always looking on the bright side of life is you are being crucified. Yeah, <laughs> there's very little to look forward to <laughs> at that point. Let's face it. If there's any I point think you're in being, life, I think <laughs> Eric, Eric, I think you're being overly negative. <laughs> yeah, you're giving it a you're bad getting, rap. Yeah, you're getting a good stretch in the low back. <laughs> oh god! Oh, well, you are. Oh man! Between the L4 and L5, you get oh. gravity's giving you a little pull. Oh. But, but it is an ironic song, and I think it's a war song, and I think it comes from my father. My uh, their generation, their songs were always like, oh, always look on the bright, uh, the blue sky, blue skies, skies yep. open, you know, bluebirds over the bright. They were always about future optimism, 
because they're in a war. Yeah. So I think that that's what that sort of song is. It's just like a war song. Yeah. And it was played on the in the Falklands when HMS Sheffield was hit by an exocet, and uh, they had to wait for rescue for three hours. They sang that that's for amazing. three hours. And so I, I think there's it, there is something recognizing that it is a ridiculous thing, and and, and teams. You know, seeing it when they're losing at football. I mean, yeah. they, they move look on the bright side. You know, there's nothing to look forward to at that point. But. Right, right. We're down. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. There's not enough time left. Um, I have to ask you this because I know that you've, you talk about playing guitar with uh, these iconic musicians. You played for hours and uh, probably thousands of hours with George Harrison. You also stayed up all night once in Rome playing with Keith Richards. And I'm just curious how you can, don't you leave your body at some point and say, <laughs> that's Keith Richards I'm playing guitar but, with, or that's George Harris I'm playing guitar with. How do you get over that? Oh, I th I think pretty quickly because you, you're just play, playing along, you know, so you're in the moment if you're playing yeah. with somebody. Yep. And I, luckily I, I had a pretty good back, I had a jazz guitar background. So mm -hmm. I, I knew better chords than they did often. Right. But, but with Keith, you know, I mean, Keith is like, the most extraordinary. He's like Noel Coward. You know, he behaves, oh, dear boy, do come up and have a, well, what can I get you? I mean, he's like wearing, you know, dressing gowns and very calm. And, you know, he's like, where's, where's the lunatic, you know? Uh, That's uh, hilarious. Uh, uh, oh, come in, please, please no, do come in. Do and what? he's wearing like a calf, he's wearing a caftan? Not a, not a caftan, dressing gown. Dressing gown. And, and a little, you know, uh, little smooch. And, fancy you know, biscuit. Oh, dear boy, would you, can I get you a glass of brandy? What, what would you like? Can, can you take, you know, I mean, quite, quite a, a different, from world of uh, that you'd expect, and what we did sing all night that night, and um, you know it was in Rome, and um, and, and then, went in Rome, yeah, went in Rome. <laughs> so I was then the next I turn up at the set, and Chevy, I hadn't got any words left. It was my last scene, yeah. And then Chevy comes up to me, and says, "I've written this big new scene for us." Oh, is this for European vacation? Yeah. Oh. And I went, I've got to And he said, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you had to lose a scene I, I lost in a European scene. vacation because yes. you were up all night playing and singing was, with Keith Richards. I'm sorry, <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I, I, well, that's probably as good 50, an excuse 50. as anybody. It's worth yeah. It. yeah, I think it's worth it. Yeah, I'm going to miss the next podcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was singing all night with Keith Richards. No, no, no. He's in he's in London. What are you talking about? You're in the Pacific Palisades. You were with Richard Keiths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah it's, we're, we got on this very dark topic of death and everything. You have one of the funniest ideas ever. I've heard for an inscription on your tombstone, which I really like. I'll tell you what it is because you've clearly forgotten. Eric Idle, see Google. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to know that still stands up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I why yeah. why not? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are we getting into here? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The rest is is nonsense. Yeah. yeah. I want to thank you. Um, it's a great day for me when I get to spend uh, any time with you. Uh, you're one of my all time heroes, and you've changed my you changed my life in so many ways with your work when I was a young lad, and you guys uh, completely. Uh, I think reordered the universe and showed us all what could be done. And I, I still think you're, you're far ahead of everyone else. Uh, my love to your family, uh, Tanya, uh, and, and, and of course, Lily, who, who I adore. The book is The Spamalot Diaries, and it is a joyous read. It's a little harrowing at times, but it's great. And it's a great book for anyone to read who's in the process of trying to make something happen. It doesn't have, it could, it could be a Broadway play. It could be anything you're trying to do. Yeah. It's very inspirational. Yes. And so you. you've given people that. a real gift here. Oh, that, that's very kind. I, I like that. I'm glad that that's so, because I, I do think it's a process, not a miracle. Yeah. And the, let's end with just explaining our shirts. Well, this, this shirt, so to raise money for statue uh, for Terry Jones. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're going to build a statue for him on the promenade uh, in Wales, um, where he comes from, Colwyn Bay. And they're raising money on a go for fun me basis. And so we're here promoting. Please. I think there should be a yeah. statue to Terry Jones. I think this is a lovely idea. And um, we are hoping it will be the nude organist, but we're not sure. 
<laughs> and you said it was a GoFundMe, is that correct? It's a GoFundMe. It's a GoFundMe. Yes, okay. it is. So okay. people can just, well, they can see Google. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>